Significant seizure reduction is possible for children living with Dravet syndrome, a rare form of epilepsy. November is National Epilepsy Awareness Month, and here to tell us more is pediatric neurologist Dr. Zupans and April Fontaine. Dr. April, welcome to PA Live. Good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon. Doctor, sometimes we do hear this in the news, but maybe remind our viewers, what is Dravet syndrome? Well, Dravet syndrome probably isn't very well known. It's a rare form of epilepsy that typically begins in infancy prior to 12 months of age, uh, associated with seizures that are often prolonged and focal, associated with fever and illness initially, and then other trigger factors later. It's a lifelong condition. There is no cure for Dravet syndrome. Unfortunately, it is also associated with behavioral issues, including autism developmental delays, delays in speech and language, balance issues, as well as nutrition and growth deficiencies and sleep disturbances. Now, April, you're, you have a child that's affected by Dravet syndrome. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, my daughter's 10, her name is Julia. She um, had her first seizure at two months old um, was we were lucky enough to get a pretty early diagnosis. She was diagnosed with Dravet syndrome um, at eight months old. And it has been a 10 year journey for us in, in trying to get better control of her seizures. Now, doctor, for, for folks living with Dravet syndrome or maybe having children with Dravet syndrome, um, even the dog wants to know what are the latest treatment options we're seeing? <laughs> um, well, there are, Typically, the standard anti-seizure medications are tried first, uh, but often are, are partially effective or some not. Some may actually aggravate the seizures. Uh, there are, are several new therapies uh, approved by the FDA for children with Dravet syndrome two years of age and older who have intractable epilepsy. The one we're going to focus on today is Fentepla. I participated in the uh, Fentepla clinical studies so I'll speak to that. Um, in the clinical trials, at least one clinical trial, there was a 79% reduction in monthly seizures versus 16% in those patients who were taking placebo. In addition, over uh, in addition, 50% of these patients went 21 days, at least 21 days, without a seizure versus eight days in those patients who were taking placebo. These patients had an average of 41 seizures per month, uh, which is a high seizure burden. Oh, all such promising and wonderful news. April, is there a spot that we can go to continue this conversation? Absolutely. So fintepla.com will give you all the, the information, risks, and benefits of Fintepla. Um, in addition, we have an amazing parent-run uh, parent uh, support group. It's called the Dravet Syndrome Foundation, and they really have been a pillar in advancing science and research um, around Dravet Syndrome and, and expanding um, awareness as well. Well, April and Doctor, thanks so much for joining us today on PA Live. Thank you. Thank you.